Well, hello again, people. You're with Simon, the Harry Golfer, and we are stuck in the back garden, I'm afraid. So, this fairway review isn't going to be that good. If you've clicked on this video because you want to see numbers and stats and all the usual stuff that the professionals provide, well, you're out of luck. However, what you will get to see is an ordinary golfer who's put his money where his mouth is. He hasn't been sent these freebies and is now wondering whether to keep them or put them on eBay. This is a real golfer, real feelings, real opinions. Because if you're in the business of reviewing golf clubs, the one thing you cannot do is give a bad opinion. Because if you give a bad opinion, you're not going to get any more gear. Fairway Woods. So I've carried a three wood and a five wood for a very long time. And the best ones I ever had were the Mizuno Tezoid T3 Titanium. They were a deep face wood and you could tee them up and you could launch them. A bit like a driver in a way. And they went a very long way. And they really suited me. And I could hit them high, I could hit them low, left to right, right to left. I could do whatever I wanted with them. But after 15 years, they were very tired and shabby. So I decided to change in 2010. And since that time, I've really spent a lot of money searching for replacements that actually suited me. Generally, the profile had changed, they'd all become lower. Titanium had been dropped in favor of steel. I'm not sure uh, how to describe the playing characteristics other than I was hitting it a bit high and a bit floaty and the five wood got too close to the three iron and the three wood got close to the five wood and what it resulted in was I'd step onto the tee box of a par five and it would just laugh at me because it knew I wasn't getting there in two. Well. They're not laughing now. So here we are, my new three wood and my new five wood. I got fitted for these um, the Wednesday before shutdown, so somewhere around about the 18th or 19th of March, uh, I can't honestly remember. And there was no one in the shop, so my coach and I had plenty of time to mess around with clubs and shafts. And we spent a long time with the Yonix actually. The Yonix is an absolutely superb fairway wood. But these were just that little bit stronger. Another seven or eight yards stronger. So we went with these. Figures, just for the record, just for those who uh, really desperately want numbers. I was hitting the three wood, a carry of 230 to 235. And the five wood was going uh, about 215 to 218, plus the rollout, of course. Smash factor. For those who don't know what a smash factor is, it is the relationship between the club head speed and the ball speed. And you're looking for getting as close to 1.5 as possible. So if you've got a 90, head, 90 mile an hour club head speed, you're, you're looking for 50% on top of that 
which is 135. Now, before you think that Smash Factor is something that only the pros achieve, everybody can achieve a good Smash Factor with the correct fitting. So if your driver speed is 60 miles an hour because you are 75 years old, you can still get a Smash Factor of 1.5 and get a 90 mile an hour ball speed. Now what surprised uh, my coach and I in the fitting is that I ended up with this shaft. It is the, and I'm reading this upside down, what a dick, Diamana 60 gram regular. Now I was expecting certainly to be getting into the stiff flex and so was James. But this combination, this head, which is probably a low spin head, and this shaft, which is a little bit softer than this, or it's got a different kick point, whatever kick point means, I think it's the part of the shaft that... The, but anyway, this combination was absolutely perfect, and I was nutting it. Slightly deeper face, which I prefer, because then I can tee it up a bit and launch it. It's got the um, Mizuno's take on the wave so on the, the the slot at the back. To describe what that does, uh, for those who don't know what all these slots and what have you on the back of a wood do, when you hit the ball low on the face, you're effectively hit, hitting against the entire sole plate, and the sole plate doesn't flex. So by putting a little slot in here and a slightly weaker area, when you hit lower on the face, this part will flex and improve your ball speed. The other thing I like about this, is the way this paint frames the golf ball. It's very nice to look down upon. But I would say one thing about all the manufacturers who paint their steel woods. Don't. Because after about five years of use, it looks like this. And the sole looks like that. And it looks shabby. Which makes me go, oh, that looks awful. I need to buy a new one. Perhaps that's why they paint them, so they get a higher churn of product. Five wood. Why a five wood? Why not a two iron? Well, I played Parkland. If I was playing, um, uh, if I was playing Lynx, I would probably sport a two iron. Um, and I, I can hit a two iron. I can hit these low bullets. These, shoulder high bullets what i like about the five wood is obviously it's considerably more forgiving than a two iron and i'll show you something else over here you know when you hit a really good drive on a um on a par five and you get to the ball and it's it's in the fairway but it's sat down you look down and you think oh god i was hoping to get to the green in two i've only got 240 to go i was going to get there well, with this you still can. Now let me walk you round here a bit. So here's my Mizuno ball. When I put the five wood down behind it, it's showing me a lot of face. It's 18 degrees, but it is showing me an awful lot of face. Balls nicely framed by the paint. And of course the Running Bird logo. By showing me all that face, face, it gives me confidence. Mm -hmm. There goes what's up. So it gives me confidence that I can actually hit the goddamn ball and still get to the green. Now I played two rounds with these uh, before the lockdown. I played on the Saturday and the Sunday. Saturday I took some video. It was hellish windy and I gave up. So I've got about five or six shots, which I'll show you now. Uh, Sunday I didn't record and I should have done. I had so much video I didn't feel that I needed to record that round of golf. 
of course the, we get home and the government announces lockdown so I'm afraid you will have to put up with the fact that there is very little video of me hitting this thing what I can tell you is that when I was playing with these I played with Basher on the Sunday and uh, he was a little bit surprised about how far they were going these things go they launch they really really go whatever the combination is here that suits me I know where the club head is I know where the club face is pointing I can release it because I'm so full of confidence that I know that the ball's going in the right direction rather than worrying about a hook or whatever I love them so when we get out if you're in the market for some fairway woods have a look at the new ST200 from Mizuno and have a look compare it to the Yonix I know many people have probably never um, thought about putting Yonix in the bag because who plays it on tour? Not many. But it's a bloody good set of woods, those Yonix and, and the hybrids in the Yonix. So if you've got some time and you're looking for a change, have a look at the ST200s and have a look at the Yonix. Bloody good clubs. Um, other than showing you a few shots on Shot Tracer, that's all I've got. Other than to say, these things look mean and nasty. Carbon crown, nice deep face, nice framing of the golf ball. I just wish they hadn't painted the face black, but then they all do, don't they? Thanks for watching. Sorry if you think this is a bit clickbaity, but in the current circumstances, this is all I can do. Cheerio.